Welcome back. So if you ever wanted to work on your vehicle, but it's so dirty in the engine compartment that uh, you don't dare touch anything, well, I have the solution. My friends over at Superclean sent me some uh, degreaser in an aerosol can. Completely 100% biodegradable, great product. You spray it on there, let it rest, come back, rinse it off, and uh, repeat if necessary. Some of the tough areas you may need to do it twice unless you're using a pressure washer like i am that should take it off and then they also sent me some wheel cleaner so i'm going to demonstrate on one of these wheels that uh, i've owned this car for two years maybe and i've never once cleaned them so if it can get that off it'll get anything off also they are from minnesota where i am from so support uh, local businesses so let's get this sprayed and then we'll come back and I'll show you what's going on. You're watching Whiskey Dance. All right. When I apply degreaser, I like to wear gloves, long sleeves, and uh, cover your face. Just in case. So it don't burn like mace. Oh boy. Um, it, nowhere on the can does it say to shake it, but for some reason, I like to shake cans uncontrollably. So, whatever. Uh, I'm going to hit the really hard areas good, and then I'll just mist, you know, the light areas, you know. If there's a little bit on there, it'll come off. Actually, maybe we should take a look at this engine bay before I spray it. This is a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta TDI, and I don't know if you guys have ever worked on a diesel engine or not, but uh, they are some of the dirtiest engines you've ever seen for some reason oil just likes running out of these things but uh yeah enough talking let's shake this for no apparent reason and uh give her a squirt You're also going to want to do this in a well-ventilated area. Excuse me. I think that should be good. I'll be back. All right. I used about half the can, so. We are about ready to rinse this off. We're gonna let it sit for just a little bit longer. So we will be back. Well, after our first rinse, I have to say that that looks a whole lot better you want something clean or do you want it super clean i'm gonna spray a few of the tough areas one more time let it sit for a little bit and then we'll jump on the wheel wow does that look a lot better now a guy can actually work on it not uh have to scrub themselves more than uh... all right here's the reveal hey wow that looks a whole lot better that is definitely super clean um i would suggest rinsing your car off too just in case any of that uh degreaser got on there i don't know if it'll actually hurt the paint but uh it's not gonna hurt to rinse it off either so all right here is the dirty wheel that we were talking about so 
We're going to spray that real quick and then uh, see how it looks. So here's the before. All right, now it's time to test out the super clean all wheel cleaner. Oh, it really comes out of there. It's nice because you can actually spray it and focus on one area if you need to. You know that uh, degreaser also works on ovens, your grill, out in the backyard, pretty much anything that you want to get some oil and grease off of. Don't be afraid to try it. Also, you can dilute this. I believe the dilution rate is, uh, if that's a word, maybe. It's 50-50. We're going to let this sit on here for a little bit, and then we'll give it a, a good rinse. Well, there's the after. Would you look at that? No scrubbing, just a simple rinse. I don't think these wheels have ever been washed. And I drive in Minnesota and North Dakota all winter. As you can tell by the fender over here. That's what the wheel looked like before. Maybe worse. And now it looks new. Well, We've tested both of these products out. I definitely give both of them two thumbs up. They work great. If you would like to get yourself some of these fine products, you can go to Ace Hardware, Fastenal, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts, Granger, True Value, Canadian Tire, Lowe's, Walmart, Do It Best, Napa, and many, many more. So go out and find it. I think you can even just go on their website and order it. That'd probably be the easiest thing. Tell them Whiskey Dent sent you. Uh, go out, get there, get some products. Give it a shot for yourself. I promise that you won't be disappointed. Thank you. If you like car content, stick around and check out some of my projects. 73 cab over GMC, 366 big block. Put some custom bumpers on it. We're gonna put some fuel tanks. Uh, do some fancy stuff with the back, make our own custom toolbox. Then we have a 66 F600. It was a grain truck at one time. It is a tandem axle, about 15 feet longer. Now it is much shorter. I gave this one away. It's actually going to uh, Leonard, Texas here in about two weeks. What else do we have? A homemade crew cab. That's right, 66 F100. On air ride, Crown Vic suspension that I stretched, fuel cell, all that happy stuff. And we got plenty more projects coming. We have a 49 Chevy that those are going to be going on. We're going to be doing some LS swaps. Plenty more to see. Thanks for joining me. You are watching Whiskey Dents. Have a great weekend.